All right, here we are again, uh, episode number six of the uh, of Level 7 podcast and uh, news, Indeed. which we forgot to mention the news thing. We forgot to do that, too. Oh, that's what we forgot to do. That whole thing. Yep. That's okay. Whatever. Anyhow. We'll get into it. We'll, we'll eventually learn what we're doing. While we're cutting things, we're learning, we're doing. I'm going to take my hat off. Whoa. Committing, huh? I know. Now I got like that red ring, I'm sure. That's you, fine. It'll go away. You're, you're like an Xbox. Oh, you're like, no. a, you're like an Xbox 360. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to die soon. <laughs> He's got a red ring. No, man. Uh, Never mind. I don't I'll know cover if I it. like. I'm going to cover it back up then. You don't actually. I don't want to be associated with the Xbox 360. Hey, that's a great console. I, I loved the 360. I did until I went through three of them. I mean, you know what? Love hurts. Love stinks. I, I, don't know where it's... <laughs> I don't know how it goes. <laughs> Love bleeds. What? Um. Anyhow, so the Game Awards happened. Yes, they did. How'd you feel about that? I <laughs> don't. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I literally didn't know about it until it was happening, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, there's commercials." I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll just wait for whenever each one of those kind of just pop up on YouTube, because that's what it just. That's that's how I watched. The Game Awards was, I just waited for new things to pop up on YouTube. I was like, all right, let's see. So that's what happened. Yeah. I usually do the recap. I mean, I, I, I'll get through a couple. Normally, I'm at work. Right. While we're um, watching them while they're on. So it's like, I'll catch things here or there. Like, somebody will be watching them on their phone or something. So uh, I never get the whole thing, but I usually just recap at the end. Just go to all the news websites. and. This is the first time I've ever actually tried to watch it, though. Oh, you tried to watch it. Oh, after it was done. Because, like I said, while it was happening, I was just looking on YouTube every once in a while to see what happened. But then afterwards, I was like, we should probably talk about it, and I should probably wa- watch this. So I, I did start watching it. Oh, my God. Was it bad? It is. Look, I, I'm, I didn't watch it either. I'm I was going to say, who? They happened. I don't know how you can sit through that. Like Because they were like, all right, there's an award for best score was this. Congratulations. Okay, next score. Uh, the best movie like well okay. hair was best movie like hair. It was this. Congratulations. <laughs> well, it's okay. So we are living in COVID nation now, which makes award shows way I mean, harder to be excited because it's like there's no speeches. Yeah, there's no. I mean, applause. They did an all right job with having people like wired in, and they're like, "Oh, holy crap, we won." Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I, it, it wasn't, no, it was bad. It was bad. It, like, there was just, like, no buildup between <coughs> stuff. There's like, just some things that don't work, um, I mean, over the internet that way. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think awards shows specifically, like, I mean, award shows are just kind of dumb, right? Like, art awards. Oh, man. Like, that, that, that was a whole, that was a whole South Park bit, what, but, bit wasn't it? But, 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 I think so. I mean, yeah. But, uh, I mean... It, this one's definitely a toss-up, though, because most award shows, I'm just like, you got paid millions of dollars this year. Fuck off. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, I don't care if you feel good about yourself. You got paid already. But for game developers and, like, people that put in freaking blood and sweat in these games, they definitely deserve awards. I just don't want to watch it. Yeah. No, I, and it, um, I, I don't know. It's it's hard to make it. It's hard to make it entertaining. Right, it's hard to be like, oh man, these guys are really good at animating, and it's like, damn, that's fuck, that's awesome. Like that is awesome because I tried to learn how to do that, and I was not, I was too stupid, <laughs> so I quit. It just takes um, so long, right? You know, I was like, okay, this ain't for me. Um, I gotta draw. So I appreciate it, but it's hard to, it's hard to make it interesting to be like, ah, oh, hey, most ordinary people who don't care about anything outside of, you know, the nose on their face. Right. Check it out. This guy knows how to write, uh, you know, speak into a micro, get good sound effects. He makes good sound effects for video games. Like, he's the best at it. And everybody's like, oh, sick. Right. Which, without it's not a... fair. Hey, sound effect guy. We I'm appreciate looking. you. I love you. Yeah, for sure. Sh- like, for real. Like I, like I said, these are <laughs> yeah, the actual people we that... don't watch the Game Awards. They actually do deserve rewards. We read about them afterwards. I, yeah, I just, I'm not watching the awards ceremony. Yeah. I'm just not... It just, it can't happen. So, I mean, it's it's cool that they try, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a worthy thing to try to make happen. 
Yes. It's it's easy to it's easy to criticize, but it it seems like a, a difficult thing to make entertaining. Right, for sure. But um, hey, there's a formula. <laughs> you just uh, gotta find it. <laughs> Formulas are hard. Yeah. But there were some good announcements. There weren't like a ton of, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, Dragon Age. I loved the first oh, I Dragon t- Age. I totally missed that. Oh, yeah. They Whoops. announced Dragon Age. They also announced <laughs> Arc, Arc 2. two. <laughs> Arc <laughs> 2, Pitch Black. It's all about family. family. Oh, sorry. I, I, I pronounced the words a little too well. Hey man, you know Vin Diesel <laughs> freaking, needs love too. Freaking Vin Diesel, he's a. He, you know, here's the thing about Vin Diesel is he's corny, but oh yeah, but hey, that's all right. You know, it's it's hard it's hard to not be a guy who's like, I'm gonna be in the Fast and the Furious and in some video games and in some sci-fi movies. And the pacifier. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> what's really funny is I don't think I've ever really had beef with him until he had beef with The Rock. You chose sides. Oh, you, can, you can't. Fuck yes. You can't pick sides. The you Rock. don't. You don't know. You don't know what happened. The Rock. Because The Rock. Ser- the whole problem with Vin Diesel was The Rock got pissed at how unprofessional he was, and he kept making people <laughs> wait for him to show up on scene. Yeah. And uh, then the rock was like, dude, dude. Reportedly, is that is that backed by everyone on the crew? Mm. So yeah, everybody was like, Yeah, we don't like him. Hmm. But the rock is the first one to be like on the movie that's like, I'm big enough to talk about this. Like, F this. You suck. Get to work on time, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Damn Vin Diesel, you got fucking blasted, bro. You did. Hey. Go to work. That's that's. I mean, step one. You, it, step one to having a job. Go to work. You that's gotta the be first, there. That's the first thing you gotta do. If you if you're not there, you can't do any work. So yeah, okay. I feel you, The Rock. But that doesn't mean that Vin Diesel is not a very nice man. He may just be a little unprofessional due to his uh, celebrity lifestyle. I, I it's mean, kind of hard to. I mean, I don't personally know. Him, so I, I don't I'm know. I'm just saying, like you know. Hey, the the Rock is clearly the Rock for a reason. He does it day in, day out, and Vin Diesel is Vin Diesel. <laughs> so you know you expect you expect him to be late sometimes. <laughs> He's Vin Diesel. He's like, hey, I'm kind of like Rocky Balboa. So. <laughs> I'm Groot. <laughs> I'm like... beautiful. Grammy. <laughs> oh man, Grammy. Holy crap! Voice <laughs> actor of the century. Um, I'm excited for Back for Blood. I love oh, Left 4 Dead. Which is hilarious that we One actually two. were talking about Left 4 Dead last time, and mm-hmm. then a new Left 4 Dead per- is announced. Right. So right. there you go, Universe. Well, oh, here's here's the other thing that we talked about. We talked about our predictions for Game of the Year. We did. Or at least what our personal choices were. And mine won, because I, I obviously have very, very eclectic taste. Anyhow. No. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I picked the easy winner. Sorry, guys. Um, it was a great game. Last of Us 2 won. If you didn't, I, sorry, I'm, I'm expecting everybody to know what I said. Last, so I voted for Last of Us 2. I thought that was going to win. That was my game of the year because it was the only game that I had actually completed. Right. It was the only thing that held my attention all the way. Um, and then you said Doom Eternal I, was, yeah. your, was your personal game of the year. That wasn't necessarily your prediction, but that was your game of the year. Yeah, it, it was the one I wanted to win. There you go. I, I predicted Ghost of Tsushima would win. Oh, that's right. That's right. But, you know. I'm surprised that didn't win still. I mean, it won certain things like uh, art director or art direction. My bad. Mm -hmm. It won that. But hot damn. Uh, Last of Us 2 also won narrative, audio design, action adventure. Uh, Best direction. Yeah. I feel like Joe Biden. I got just like, I know it ain't COVID. Like, straight up, I got like the temperature. We did the thing. But I got the (laughs) Joe Biden. Did you watch the last speech? He's like, the whole time. Nope. Like, (laughs) he's got a frog in the old throat here. And Last of Us Part 2 also got innovation in accessibility. The fuck does that mean? Uh, Innovation and accessibility. So essentially, in accessibility. Innovation and accessibility. So essentially, people with um, disabilities, so colorblind, um, if you're deaf, oh, they, okay. they add accessibility options for people with impairments. 
Well, that makes sense. I had no clue that was a, a category at all. Great job, Naughty Dog. We appreciate you, even though the internet really got mad at you guys. Yeah, they did. And, and CD Projekt Red, we see you too, guys. We know you're you're in the weeds right now, but it'll all pass, and people will love you again once you fix the game. I was going to say, yeah, you fix the game, and it'll all be better because... Just look at No Man's Sky. That's the perfect example. No Man's Sky promised the stars, and they delivered a star. Who also they won delivered ongoing game. My computer died, so... Yeah, No Man's Sky won ongoing <clears throat> game of the year. Comeback game of the year. Comeback. That's my. That's what I call that. Hmm. But that makes sense, dude. Doom didn't win anything. Okay, I'm over this now. Fuck you, Game Awards. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Doom. Doom did deserve, dude. Like the soundtrack was sick. It was amazing. But what won best soundtrack? What the hell did win best soundtrack? Let's see. Let's see. Ghost of Tsushima. Audio. Well, audio design. There's got to be a soundtrack. Like There's got to be a sound. Oh, score, soundtrack, Final Fantasy VII. They just redid stuff. Uh, I don't know about that. Right. I mean, uh. you got to give Final Fantasy. They're like, they're like, oh, duck at the bar, duck at the bar. It's like, <laughs> I don't know that that's how. That, that was spot on. That was sick. I, mean, <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> me neither. That was like, that was some Shakira levels. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Shakira. Speaking Shakira. of great soundtracks, <laughs> they also Final Fantasy VII remake also won role playing game of the year. Um. Okay. I mean, what were the com- what were the competitors who who I don't know. Who, Let's who, check. Were, who were in who, that category? Who was nominated? Who done been nominated? They don't say. How, you... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else was nominated. <laughs> Nobody else qualified as a and Square. Here's your game. five awards and well, Naughty Dog. Here's your six awards. Let's see, uh, role playing uh, nominees. Anyhow, um, sorry. Yeah, let me look it up. No, no, no. You're fine. You look it up. I, uh, I, uh, I find it interesting that games released at the end of the year, and it's like I, I understand it, but games released at the end of the year. Like Cyberpunk or, or or you know other games released in November, never make it for that year's games. I don't know why they don't do the game awards, like at the end of December, right? Or like January even. I like wait for the year to actually be over. Yeah, I mean I don't understand that. It's like because now, like okay, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity is that that goes into next year's runnings. And that feels like that's hard to compete with because now you're going to have these AAA PS5 and mm. Xbox. I, I, don't I don't know. Whatever. Oh, who cares? Persona 5. Who actually cares? Persona 5 lost to Final Fantasy 7? Yeah. I'm going to say the weebs liked Genshin, Persona 5 more. Genshin Impact. Okay, that was like the Chinese, like those, those like the uh, free to play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Game that uh, I, I never tried that one. Wasteland 3. Which was fantastic. That was. Did you actually play that one? Yeah, I played a bit of it. I didn't yeah. complete it because it's long AF, but, you right. know. And um, it's good. Yakuza it's good. Like a Dragon. Those oh. were the nominees for Best Role Playing Games, and Final Fantasy VII Remake won. I mean, eh. It's because it was Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I mean, I think... There's no other reason for that. It, it's just because it was that. I'm convinced of this. I, you don't think that it was just, like, a better game? I mean, I'm not saying it was a bad game. What I played was really fun. Oh, okay. But I mean... I didn't really fall in love with it. I have not heard of a single person that beat it because everyone was like, oh, well, it doesn't end, right? Yeah, because this is like the first part of seven. All right, well, I'm not going to beat it. (laughs) How can you be the best role-playing game without an ending? (laughs) Well, I mean, okay, I I, I talked to a few people who beat it. (laughs) I personally didn't beat it because uh, I got bored. But uh, <laughs> you know. yeah, I played it for like. But four hours I also I didn't play. I didn't play any of those those other games either, um, because that just that wasn't. I was it was Coviticus this year. We had to uh, trying to run a, a store from my garage. I didn't really get to play as many games as I wanted to. Right. It was such a big year too, and I like it. I was so excited. I was gonna play all these games, and then then the old COVID. Oh well. Shucks. What are you going to do? It hit everybody. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I'm still just looking at the winners of stuff from the Game Awards. Mm. Mm. And League of Legends won eSports game. Uh, I mean, that is an eSports game. I mean, it is an eSports game. Just I mean, shouldn't that is... it be a new one? Um, I... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess with a game like that, you're constantly innovating and constantly changing it and adding new characters. So, because it, I think esports work differently, right? It's like, right? Uh, it's like that, Fortnite is continuously Fortnite, but I think it's still because it is a a, a huge esport title, right? It's part of it's part of that. That makes sense. Uh, as far All as right. like nominations go on that, yeah. The rest of them is just like. Fall Guys, Among Us. Oh, Tony Hawk. Shmungus. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 for sports slash racing genre. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like that. I like those things. Elden Ring for anticipated game. Yeah, we had this discussion a little earlier that you think... I Go think... Ahead. I feel like anticipated game is like the most popular kid in school kind of fucking award there can be. That's right, baby. What's up? Like... That's right, Elden Ring. We don't even know what it is. We don't even know what it is. Right? But it's the it's the it's the coolest thing. That's why well, it's how cool. Do you, how do you win that without that's, having a game yet? That's because it's cool. You want to fucking you want everybody's like, oh shit! Not only do we know there's gonna be some like crazy ass George R R Martin lore that we're gonna have to like dig from the crusts of some stupid items, but also we have absolutely no information about this game except for like. Two three years ago, one trailer that people have picked apart. Right, it's like that's why it's anticipated. People just want, they just want it. They just want to want to take it apart. It just want to read all the descriptions and be like, oh yeah, tell me about this knight. Tell me all about him. I just I just feel like that's such an award that could be like, hey, uh, okay, what's your vote? What, what's your most okay most anticipated announced game? Because you said Doom earlier. I, I did. When we were, like, getting ready for the the podcast, I said, uh, my vote's for Doom. <laughs> like, whatever the next upcoming Doom game right. is. Right. Like, it, there's going to be a next one, and that's my most anticipated game. Right. But I think the qualifier to win the award... Would be... A, which It has to be an existing it has game. To be, it has to be a game that's at least been announced. It makes sense. And I, I'm Metroid not saying... Metroid Prime 4. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying that is the the part that I have beef with. It's just, like, it's... That's such a game where it's like, oh, wait, who gave me money this month? Mm. Elden Ring. Elden Ring wins for most anticipated game. Like, how the... F- like, votes? I'm sure they, they got votes, You but got a vote? There's votes. There's most. Votes. In- I'm, I'm going to see if there's actually nominees for that. There's f- got to be nominees. There's got... What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no other nominees. <laughs> um, I've been playing... Well, you're looking that up. Let's move on from the Game Awards. That shit's okay. boring. Um, yeah. sorry, hey, developers, publishers, people who aren't watching this, because why would you? We're sorry that the award show for you is boring. We appreciate you. We appreciate your games. We appreciate your hard work. But award shows are boring. Continuing on. So much. So, um, so boring. Cyberpunk, I've been playing a bunch of, like, for me, a bunch, which is maybe... 30 hours since it came out. Yeah. And uh, I'm liking it. What are you laughing about? Did you find the nominees? I did, did find the okay, nominees. We're going to look at the no- Yeah, I, I figured you found them. Let's see. Elden Ring. Good. Halo Infinite. Good. Horizon Forbidden West. Boom. God of War sequel. They, they, that's all they said. Yep. <laughs> Resident Evil Village. Okay. And Lord or The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, those are those are some big. Those are some hefty titles. Yeah. To defeat. <laughs> These are all very hefty <laughs> hypothetical titles that we're right? talking about. Like, These are happy... big names that have done absolutely nothing to earn any trust at all. Not no, at I'm all. Just kidding. The, the, Around the, half of them might not even come out. Yeah, but the past matters, right? So these are all franchises with histories. True. So it's like, and, and I think that's really what it is, is like, all right, who, what are people really the most excited for? Are they most excited for a new Mario, a new Zelda, a new, you know, Halo? Like, right. And they, everybody votes and like, we're the most excited for a bunch of fucking dark fantasy. 
Sweep. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I, I dragged us back into it, but. No, but that was the point. We were I know. looking it up. It's fine. Okay. 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 I believe in you, Elden Ring, and I believe in you, most antip- most anticipated game award. <laughs> I don't, but whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have not played that whole lot of Cyberpunk yet. So like, not a whole lot, as in like an hour. As in, I'm in the tutorial for hacking. I think it's maybe an hour. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty early. I'm uh, I'm kind of a, a beast already. I've uh, gone pure hacker, just quick hacking. So right. it's like what you're learning to do now is yeah. a whole there's a whole branch that essentially like is all about like hitting your your L1, being able to be like whoosh, scan a dude, and then it gives you like a list of different things like ailments or or effects or whatever that you can you can hack into this like cybernoid human um, and. Like, I can make them blind, or I can make their, like, cyberware malfunction, so they're just, like, having a seizure. Right. And then I run up and just shotgun in the fucking face. Sick. Blam! That's my that's my whole game. I sit back, I survey, I scope, I'm like, alright, cool, here we are. I see, like, I scan everybody, and then I get the one dude, and I ping him. And when I ping him, it shows me everybody on the network, you know, on that network. So all the enemies, all of the different alarms, whatever. Then I breach protocol them, which lowers all their resistances, including their armor and their 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 physical resistances. Right. I hit so each can... one of them with like I blind them or shock them or give them a seizure, or make their like cyberware their brain just like, Meh. and then I run up and I shotgun them in the face while they're freaking out. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty effective. That's good stuff. That's great. And then I just got a super jump. I paid forty five thousand eddies for a super eddies? jump. That's money, and the game oh, okay. is Eddie's. Oh, Eddie's. Yeah. Man, I feel so bad. I, Come I, on, Chuma. I, Get it together, bro. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I actually, I played more of Immortal Phoenix Rising than I did And you were Punk. smashing on that I game. I really was. I want to hear this. Well, I got to say, it still looks like fucking garbage on the Switch. Okay, I mean, I believe that, but what yeah, do you expect? Like, why the hell did they put this game on the <clears throat> Switch? It it you could feel the lag, like from time to time as you're trying to do stuff, uh-huh. and the look is awful. Like it is it. I'm trying to like Rainbow Six Vegas. Did you ever play that one? Yeah, the first one where it's like it looks like you're looking through mud or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, that's what the whole game looks like on the Switch. It's that bad. It looks like everything's got like a weird glare and like. Can you turn it off? Funk around it. Because I no, turn up, like, because, you know, Cyberpunk has some stuff like that where it's like, it's got like the after effects and stuff and the lens flares. So it looks like Blade Runner and shit. And I'm like, eh, it's too much. Just give me, I just want to sh- shoot dudes in the head with right. a shotgun. No, I, <laughs> I'm pretty positive it's just unique to the Switch because the Switch is an underpowered tablet. Sure. So, uh, but I mean, I got it for free. So I'm not going to complain. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And, well, I will complain. But you did complain. I just did complain. <laughs> but that's all the complaining I'm going to do about it, because the game is actually, it's been pretty fun so far. It, it, it which, is, is, which is the most important Right. It doesn't really factor. matter what it looks like if it's fun. So That's what, uh, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, but no, it, it's been really fun. It's, uh, I think the best way I could think to describe it while I was playing was it's a lot like a kids assassin's creed game yes that's kind of what i've heard is because i mean it's a ubisoft game oh yeah and all those and little ubisoft things are there it's and it's like it was an assassin's creed team i believe i'm not 100 percent sure about that but i'm pretty sure it's like one of them because there's multiple because they were doing yearly releases right and but i yeah it just feels like a really young audience assassin's creed game that plays really well uh, the combat definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to because it's like R1 for your normal attack and then R2 for like a heavy attack with an axe. And there's like... Just... I'm sorry, have you never played Demon Souls? No, I'm in the middle of playing Demon Souls. I know. <laughs> but yeah. it just, for well, that like I... simple of a game, it felt weird. I guess that's weird. I mean, God of War did it too. Yeah. God of War totally used the Demon Souls controls. I was just and kind... I was so proud of them. Yeah. So proud of I them. I mean, it's good stuff. 
Dude. But uh, no, I I was just I was expecting Legend of Zelda controls. That makes sense. Like I was just expecting a button to do everything. <laughs> just an a- <laughs> ah, ah, man, 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 go to the left, go to the right, throw a bomb. Which, Let me eat a taco. Right, which is good because <laughs> it definitely improved the combat from Breath of the Wild. I feel really that okay. one. The most thing you had to think about in Breath of the Wild fighting people wise was. How long before my sword broke? Oh shit, my sword broke. That was that was what ruined that game for me. So it, it was just like, just give me one sword. Like if that's what you got to do is just give me one sword, then just just do it. Don't make me get new swords and learn new shit all the time. Like, yeah, I, I get it. It's it was cool. Like it was it was it was a cool idea to be able to incorporate all of those different swords into the game to kind of force you to use them all. And I think that was maybe the, the reason that they did that is they're like, all right, this will make people use the stick. It'll make people use the... Right. Because, <clears throat> yeah, it, that way you don't get the big sword problem from... The big purple Ocarina, dildo. Of, like, yeah. Ocarina of Time where you, oh, no, that you got right. that big-ass sword and you're just like, well, I don't need another sword. I got this thing. <laughs> right, and I think that's, you know, if you have an open game like that, you have to have the content to, like, justify. Right. It's... It's world, and so you have to like throw a bunch of shit in there, and then somehow make them all relevant. So the only way to make a bunch of bullshit relevant is to make it break. Right. So I feel like they did a good job with actually giving you different weapons on different buttons. So, like I said, it is just weird that it's in such a childlike game, mm. but with an adult control setting. <laughs> yeah. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I, I, I Tang is for the children. Yeah. You know out there for the kids <laughs> yeah but, exactly uh, but yeah i uh i've really been enjoying it it's uh the writing is very awkward from time to time as uh, video games tend to be yeah <laughs> it's just it's just weird because it'll go from like serious storytelling from from uh, whatever that i can't remember their names but one of the, one of the gods is telling the story while zeus is listening to him and every once in a while zeus is like Oh, that's not fair. I like that horse. You're like, that's weird. Yeah, and it's like, God damn it, Zeus. Why'd you sound so. Haritos, grapefruit. <laughs> but yeah, like every once in a while, you're like getting into the story, and then they're like, oh yeah, throw in one of those classic Marvel jabs out of nowhere. You're like, dude, I was in the. Okay, I mean, we were talking about a person that just survived a shipwreck, but yeah, let's have fucking Zeus come in with a. Oh! <laughs> Man, I forgot oceans do that. Like, oh, it just can't decide on its tone. Yeah, it's, it like it's they like constantly breaks its own tone. Do you think maybe they changed directions halfway through the game? Yes. Like maybe they were trying to make a serious. Maybe they were trying to make an Assassin's Creed Greek game. Probably because. And then they were like, oh, "This just is not working." That's actually a really good idea as to what happened because there is a lot of. <coughs> There's a lot of good story that, like I said, you start getting into it, and then, for some reason, Zeus is just the most funniest rapist around. <laughs> like, all right, cool. What? I mean, well, <laughs> no, he does, I mean, <laughs> Zeus, the figure in real life, is a rapist. Oh, like crazy. oh, okay. But I no, you were they, talking about in the game. I was like, damn, son, they, they, <laughs> no, they what? don't, they don't go that dark. <laughs> okay, but Jesus. uh, yeah, or. Um, it's Hercules, just, I don't know, <laughs> whatever is. Yeah, it, what it's there. it's just so weird because it's Zeus. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a fucking Disney film, ah. but they they try to make it a Disney film from time to time, right? Because Zeus walks up. I can't remember which freaking god this is, but it's one of them that he uh, Prometheus. There we go. He gave humans fire, mm. which yes, pissed yes. off Zeus. Right. And then Zeus punished Prometheus for eternity. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, like, tied him up or yeah. something, right? Yeah. So it's Zeus visiting Prometheus on the mountain that he's enslaved on. And mm-hmm. he's like, why'd you have that crow come and eat my kidney? It's like, well, because you gave humans fire. It's like, all right. What the hell do you want? Oh, I'm here for something, something. By the way, looking pretty cold up here. <laughs> You're like... You're like... Wait, this dude is legit just being tortured for all eternity. People are eating his kidneys. And, <laughs> yeah. Like, and he's just like, like just j- super like, you can't, just gallivanting around. Just yeah, really jolly. Yeah, you can't have Zeus be <laughs> it's like tearing legit his eyes out. Zeus that tortures people for eternity <laughs> and funny Zeus from the Hercules Disney film. That just depends it, on uh, how 
how dark you're really trying to imagine this character. Like, this dude is I guess so. Maybe sick. he's just so perverse he just gets all the joy from Doesn't making fun of this guy. All, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... Is but back to, back to my point. It's fun. It's written really <laughs> weird. Uh, and it looks like shit on the Switch. Buy it on a real console, folks. <laughs> there you go. Like a, like a PC or PlayStation or an Xbox. Yeah. Not the Switch. Those. Yeah. I mean, have you seen those versions? Yeah, they look a lot better. Oh, okay. Do you just look it up? Just, yeah. Just to be like, I was oh, just, does it I look was like just shit looking on every console? <laughs> no, no. Like like the uh, the PlayStation version. Oh, I believe you. you like it, it yeah. looks... It looks like actually clean. Oh, well, that's. I mean, I mean, I would the, hope so. The grass doesn't look as good as it did on that first trailer. Mm. Well, but. it's also getting critical. <laughs> it's getting good critical reviews as well, which is um, end user reviews, which t- these days are hard to come by, huh? Yeah. Just no ask. Kidding. I mean, we can go. We can go back to it. I. I kind of want to talk about the. Uh, I want to talk about how everybody's panning on cyberpunk real hard. Because of the, uh, I mean, I think we should talk about it anyhow the fact that they advertised Cyberpunk as a PS4 game and it wasn't. Yeah, like, not at all. It's like, just not a PS4. They should have just said, "Hey, it's a PS5 game that kind of runs on your PS4." But I think because they had announced it as a PS4 game sixteen thousand years ago, yeah, they had to like sell it as that instead of just changing their mind. They they really should have just forced it to be a current gen game, right? Like. I know you wanted all your money back, but people would have just bought it on the PlayStation 5 and then played it when they got one. Well, I, I, they could have... The, 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 uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. so who who cares? I mean, we're talking about it because that's we're here to talk about stuff, but right. it's... The easiest route, in my opinion, would have just been to re-advertise it, rebrand it as a PS5 and an Xbox One game, and say, hey, this does run on a PS4. Just not well. It's not a PS4 game. It's a PS5 game. It's an Xbox One game. It's a PC game. However, for you users that haven't upgraded yet, it will run. It's just the fact that they sold them as PS4 games, as Xbox One games. Yeah, that was a big-ass no-no. And they never, they never actually showed in any of the press stuff those actual versions running it's just it's just unfortunate i mean i don't know it cd project red seems like a super cool studio they seem like they you know they obviously care about their craft and stuff which which is cool and they made a boo-boo and then they did the whole like refund thing with they're like go get a refund go to the store get a refund and it's like the the stores are gonna be like nah and now people are gonna be more mad that they're like they didn't give me a fucking refund <laughs> right i mean that is, first off that is the most dick move i think i've seen by a developer for a long time well and you know what it is it's just being out of touch because developers yeah. it and, and and here's where here's where i think the biggest break in our industry is just coming from a like a store owner perspective is i sell something and they the the people who who make it don't give a shit that I am selling their product. Right. It, it sells at Walmart. It sells everywhere. But I mean, like, I think th- that break in, like, we all hear about the developers' problems, right? Everybody knows that the developers have to crunch. Like, we hear about it. We don't We don't know the inside. I'm not a developer. I couldn't fucking say that I lived that life or I've ever been that stressed as them or the same kind. But I think that, we hear about their plight <laughs> quite a bit, right? Oh, in the yeah. industry. Especially now. Like in the past like two years, that's like all you hear about. Right. And it's like, okay, well work sucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we we all have work problems. It, it wouldn't be called work if it was all happy fun time. I uh, I don't know. And I mean like I don't know. I I guess I don't I, I don't even know the point I was trying to make. I, I forgot where I was going with that. I got so I got so sidetracked by the fact that everybody's just like, Oh my god, they have to fucking work overtime sometimes. I'm like, Oh no. Right. <gasps> you have you have to work overtime at your job? In one of the highest demand jobs ever oh with god. like the largest population of people that want that tiny ass pool of jobs. I know, but it's just like, I mean the tech industry is just so full of drama. 
just in yeah. general. It's it's like it's almost like a, a a motivator for the industry. Oh, I remember the point I was trying to make. They don't give a shit about game stores. Oh, not even remotely anymore. Yeah, like because they they just they would all prefer it to be digital purchases. Which right. So they fair, don't care when they. So, but, so I think that the point that I was trying to make. And, uh, this, sorry, it took me so long to come back to this. The point that I was trying to make is that they don't care how retail works. They know that people buy the game and they know that maybe they could just take it back like you can anything. They don't know the retail processes. They're not fucking retail workers. They they don't they didn't I, I don't think the person who was like, hey go get a refund was trying to be like malicious, but at the same time that's just not how retail works. You can't buy a game, not like it, take it back to the place that you bought it in most cases. Right. Um because you know, once you open it, I mean, it's it's yours. And we can't return them, like the game store, right? Yeah, I can't say, hey, God, I didn't like this game because you fucking suck at making games. CD Projekt Red, can you please send me the $55 I spent on this? Right, uh, like, what did they expect game stores to do? Just have boxes of their broken shit and be like, oh, cool, well, we paid for this. Right, exactly, well, and... But otherwise, uh, and, and so then so then it adds, like, another layer of complexity because from our perspective, now we have people coming in that are like, hey, CD Projekt Red told me to come get a refund. And I'm like, well, um, it's like, we would like to help you. And, 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 and honestly, we, ha- we haven't had it come up. Like, I, I would, if we sold somebody a game and it was th- that awful, so broken on their system. Like, for example, we, we sold... Um, uh, Valhalla, the the Assassin's Creed Ooh, Valhalla, that yeah. was having like, and still is having tons of issues on older model PS4s. It just won't run on older model PS4s. Right. So, <clears throat> there's been a few people that we, you know, let them trade to use the full amount of credit that they spent on the game towards another game, which typically we, you know, we don't do because, you know, it's we just we can't make any of that money back after they open it. Right? right, because then we have to sell it as used. We're not GameStop. We don't open our new games and sell them as new. Um, I'm sorry, GameStop employees, that you have to do that. No kidding. That sucks. They put you in a really shitty spot. Um, but yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's a shitty situation all the way. I think um, all the way around. But what are you gonna do? It's a good game. It it honestly is a lot of fun if you can get past the bullshit and you can actually play it. The game is fucking awesome. It's like the Deus Ex meets Morrowind meets GTA. Just perfect, just meld of what my brain wanted. Like, I get to just... I'm a super jumping, super hacking shotgun dude. And everybody that I've talked to, like, my one buddy's, like, a ninja who has a sword that, like, when you when you kill a dude, you steal all of their health. And so, like, oh, he's got, like, yeah, a vampire yeah. sword. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah, that that is pretty crazy. And I, I did enjoy what little bit I played. I didn't have any problems, but I also was playing on a PlayStation 5, so I believe that has made uh, a difference so far. Mm-hmm. I will say this. I played for probably about eight hours a couple days ago, um, and it crashed full-on game crash to the dashboard eight times. Jeez. I was I, I started count. I saw yeah I, I was counting so it was really annoying because it was always like when you're like driving from place to place so like you completed a mission you're driving to the next place and then what would happen is somebody would call like I would get a call from one of my contacts and be like Yo V what's up it's me Tony Ringo I'm here to talk to you about some spaghetti you want to come down to my taco salad and get me the-? and and then it would just <laughs> boom and just die and I'd be like. Ah, what I want to hear about is spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, that uh, sucks. So then you got to boot it back up, and then you load it, and you're like, please don't lose too much. Please don't lose too much. And you lose like 15 minutes of driving. Ugh. And it's just like, oh, now i got to fast travel because I don't want to like drive through the shit again. I don't know, whatever. Right. It's, it's annoying, but it's not, it's not like ruining the experience for me. But You're a lot more patient than I am. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, it gave me an excuse to, like, stand up and get stuff to drink. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
No, that Let's could flash out. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm Johnny Silverhand. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, when that happened with Call of Duty Cold War for me, I just deleted it. I don't even have it on my console anymore. It's like, all right, you don't want me to play your shitty game. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, time is valuable, and um, I'm willing. At least the load times. That has been the. That has been the literal game changer for me. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Um, the fact that I can like, crash out of a game, a game like that, like Cyberpunk, like a huge fucking game. Right. I, I can completely crash out, and I can get back into playing it again on, you know, on the PS5 or whatever. Um, within like a minute, that's big. That is pretty awesome. Because, yeah, it, I mean, that's like loading it, selecting your load, doing the thing, and it's like... It's, uh, it's pretty sick. It's pretty slick. Indeed. We'll say that. That is a good, that is a good point, because I was able to like get completely kicked out of Black Ops, Cold War, Call of Duty. It's got three fucking titles. It's too many titles. But is it a Black Ops it game? It is a Black Ops Cold War Call of Duty. Yes. I just burped a little. I'm <laughs> sorry. sorry. But, uh, yeah, I was able to get back in it within, like, seconds. Yeah. But, I, but yeah, that game. Luckily, I stopped because apparently that was, like, one of the signs of it just breaking people's shit. So, ah, uh, yeah. Nice. So, it just so, keeps booting you out. Yeah, luckily, I was like, I mean, fuck this game. I'm deleting it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the, can- the campaign is boring. It hasn't. That we'll re- see. Yeah. And then they, I guess they haven't really changed Warzone at all. They didn't change the map. The only thing that they added with the uh, like with the new update is they like nerfed the old guns and added a bunch of new guns. And so now you're like, well, fun. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting used to these crappy guns. <laughs> Damn it, piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a. Uh, it's interesting for sure. Yeah. Uh, to say the least. Yeah, th- we've had some weird stuff going on with all these new games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I you know, there's always and people underestimate, especially nowadays with how quickly the conversions happening, underestimate like how hard it is to make these things like work on multiple platforms. You know yeah. what I mean? Like again, t- to the developers credit, you know, for these people that are having to do this, it's like they're having to make it work on a PC, on, you know, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, fucking Stadia, <laughs> like Stadia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just <laughs> fucking Sega Channel, uh, Sega Nomad, your Vectrix. Right. Like you know, it's got to work on everything. Your Samsung the refrigerator, up- upcoming Ami- Amico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I don't know. I was, I'm trying to think of other. Man, I don't know. Those are all the games I've been playing. I mean, how many play- games can you play at once? Like, Man, I've been playing so many games at once recently. It's oh, that's ridiculous. true, because you're playing Rainbow Six. You're playing yes. Cyberpunk. You're playing Demon uh, Souls. Yep, and then I just beat Resident Evil Code Veronica. Oh, nice. Are you on glad the Dreamcast. that's over? How was that? I really enjoyed that game a lot until like the last like section of it. Did it just start grinding, or well, was it too the, hard? Like The last section of it is just... Like, either you better have hoped you gave the right character the right amount of shit. And because I literally had to go back from a different save, which luckily I have multiple saves whenever I play Resident Evil. Because if I didn't do that, I just, I, I couldn't have beaten the game. Just because you wouldn't have had enough ma- ammo? Yeah. Like, or the right equipment. Because all of my stuff was on Claire, like, explosive wise. Because, you know, she was the person you play as for like 90% of the game. But then they expect you to finish it with Chris, who, if by default, he just has a shotgun and a pistol. Uh, but you have to have explosives to defeat the final form of Veronica. Or hmm. Alexia. Or whatever her stupid name is. <laughs> <laughs> and, Sounds and, like a thrill ride. Yeah, so I died trying to beat that like eight times. And I was like, okay, what the hell's going on? Why can't I beat her? And then I looked it up and they're like, you need explosives. That's Oh, so I had to... Yeah, I literally had to go back like an hour in the game mm. for, on an old save as Claire put all the shit into the chest and then come back as Chris, pick up all the shit from the chest, and then go. Damn, that's obnoxious. Yeah, like, imagine if I did not have that extra save. I would have just been fucked. That would have been really annoying. I huh. would have had to play the I mean, whole game again to that's, beat it. That's one of the games that got 
I mean, it's not worth... Of the Resident Evil games, I mean, none of them are worth very much, but that one's worth, like, nothing, right? Mm, well, I think the Dreamcast kinda, yeah. one is. The Dreamcast... Or, and the, the GameCube one. Yeah, GameCube, everything, Resident Evil is just pricey is yeah. for stupid reasons. But, I mean, like, I think the PS2 version's, like, seven ninety nine or something. Yeah, it's pretty cheap on the PS2. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I did. I never played that one, so I don't do a lot of survival horrors because I'm spooked. <laughs> I'm I'm a feared. But yeah, so I've just I've been playing way too many games, which is. I mean, it's not a problem. It's just I don't have time for all of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should probably whittle it down. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say you. You know, instead of streaming like three different games, you stream like now that Code Veronica's. Well, because you were gonna do like a retro one. Well, okay, yeah. So what are you doing? What well, is your stream schedule? You, we haven't even talked about this. Let's the the stream slate that is now on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, okay. It's on you. That yeah. is, we're streaming on YouTube, not Twitch anymore. Yeah, we're, we've switched from Twitch. Switch from Twitch. Switch from Twitch to YouTube. Damn that <laughs> YouTube. That one's for free. I know you guys are listening in on this. Yeah, you're welcome. You, switch from Twitch. Come <laughs> to YouTube. <laughs> and, I coined that. It's on it's fucking video recorded evidence. Yep, and it's a pain in the dick. Yeah. Yeah. It? It's just because I got used to Twitch. Yeah. It, I, it'll be easy once I figure it all out again. But, uh, yeah, so on Tuesdays, I was doing Tasty New Tuesdays. So, mm. like, a new game that I've been playing Demon Souls on the PlayStation 5, which is amazing. It's, it's still a new game. So, I think I think until we start getting the, like, the big release, like, again, like, end of January, like, right. everything's new, baby. So, yeah, I, I've just been enjoying the hell out of that. Mm-hmm. And then Throwback Thursdays. Which okay. I just beat Resident Evil Code Veronica. As Rest we in were peace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then on Saturdays, I was just going to do anything like PvP. So whatever the hell I was feeling. Okay. Like, we were playing Warzone for a while. Uh, yeah, that got I, boring. I played. Yeah, that did get boring. And then I played um, Cold War for a little bit, which I could never play zombies because it kept kicking me out. Mm. Uh, mm. And then I played the that multiplayer for like three weeks, and then I got bored. Uh, mm-hmm. So now I'm playing Rainbow Six, and now I have a problem because I'm addicted to Rainbow Six Siege. Dude, that game, it gets people. Like, it, it changes is. people. It is so good. Yeah. Like, literally, you start out, and you're like, man, this game's hard. I suck. But then, of course, I'm kind of one of those people. It's like, sweet, I'm bad at this. Let's get good. Let's get good. <laughs> and it, it was like you beating my ass at Samurai Showdown a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> again. Again, again, and then I just kept getting my ass beat. I never won. It was bullshit. <laughs> I yeah. never, I never actually got better. <laughs> so, so yeah. Go. Moral of the story. <laughs> Those are normally my kind of games. Like I love having to get good at a game because if it's just easy, you just walk through it, and who cares? You mm-hmm. beat the game. It's yeah, fantastic. Uh, so I've just been playing more and more, and now like I started out liking maybe two operators as attackers and defenders, and now like everyone is my jam. Mm. It's like, oh, we're in this place. I need this for this situation with this equipment. And it's like, I've only been playing it for like a month now. And or, ha- have you found some pretty good teams where you guys are just like legit, just oh, merc man. everybody? Yeah. Like there have been some teams where just hot damn. <laughs> like you get in there and you're like, oh, this person knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I don't have to talk to fucking anybody. Here we go. <laughs> nice. And then there are Is other. It, do you do the voice chat and everything with uh, the people you're playing with? or Normally not because I'm normally trying to do uh, commentary. Oh, for that, the stream. That makes sense. So I wonder I wonder if that's how do people did I guess that's how it normally works, huh? I th- yeah. Well, oddly enough, I feel like most streamers just ignore everybody while they're playing and then during the downtime between the matches is when they they look at the comments and stuff. Mm. But I'm normally just kind of making fun of everything while I'm trying to play. No, no, absolutely. No, no, I meant like do you talk to your teammates? Right, no, I just oh. I mm-hmm. mute them. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Because, well, like 80% of the time, nobody else is talking. Hmm. I think most streamers just play, and then they talk, like, during the downtime. Mm-hmm. But then you were going to say something? I like to party. Oh. My name is John. Party. <laughs> My name is John, and I also like to party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I yeah, remember. there you go. Um, okay. We were going to talk about... Christmas memories. Yes. I'm going to talk about our Christmas memories. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Gaming Christmas memories. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, specifically gaming. We're not going to talk about that time. Never mind. We'll nope. 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 Okay. Yeah. We nope. You know what? We'll, we'll delete that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, where do I start? So, I mean, I, are we talking about like the biggest gaming memory? Like a favorite? Are we talking about like... I mean, like, it's hard because I have a couple of favorites, so I'm just going to pick one of them. Do you have a couple of favorites? I mean, my one of my favorites was like, so my grandma, Alice used to always take me to like buy a video game right like so she wouldn't she wouldn't she always did the cool thing where she's like let's go to target and that's you know target wasn't like super big back then because i was you know younger it was it was whatever there was still kmart right like, people still thought kmart was around yeah they kmart. thought it wasn't it was a phantom anyhow so we went there and i tricked her by saying i was allowed to get an m-rated game and she bought me mortal kombat trilogy and then and then when my mom called and uh, told her, hey, you bought an M-rated game, she said, yeah. <laughs> and then my mom explained it, and she goes, yeah? And I was like, yes! <laughs> and it made me so powerful. <laughs> and then uh, my mom took it away anyhow. Oh. So, you know, I thought I had a chance. Um, she gave it back to me later that week, and she was like, eh, whatever, you know, here, just take it. It was a gift. So... That was cool, but it was a it was a big time memory because I got to get the game I wanted. It got taken away, but then I got it back. Boom! It's like yeah, I got yeah. it twice. Right? Yeah. What system did you have it for? It was a sixty four. Nice. Yeah, I played a uh, Sonya. Was that her name? Sonya Blade. No, not Sonya. What's the other chick? The with the with the S. The the one that screams. Solomon. No, I don't know. That's not... Her name is not <laughs> Solomon. It's like Shiva or something. I don't know. Dude, I know Mortal Kombat characters. Not at all. You know, I never really... Like, that's the one Mortal Kombat game. I, I remember playing the first Mortal Kombat. But anyhow, Christmas. Right. I don't know. You, you you do another one. Let's talk... Okay. That was a boring one. I don't know. What? That was a... That was a good one. Was it good? I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, I've, I feel like one of my favorite ones... Uh, was one year when I had a huge box next to the tree. Mm -hmm. Like, and my dad always put the presents out maybe like a week or two ahead of Christmas so we could just kind of see them. Be like, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, this is probably that. But this one year, I just had one huge box. I was like, what the hell is this thing? Like, it was like the size of this table, but like yeah. taller. But, and I... The whole time, of course, I was just like, what the hell is this? I want I want to open it, like, so bad. So bad. <laughs> and then finally Christmas came, and my dad was like, okay, John, this, this is going to be weird, because Tyler has more gifts than you, but yours is it's pricier. A big, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah like, it, it's it's a big one. So, like, don't don't be mad. And I was like, no, I just want to I want to get to it. I just want to open so, the box. And box. we always did this thing where we went one at a time. Mm, mm, it sounds torture. Uh, yep. Yeah, I, absolute torture. <laughs> I love my dad, but uh, he was not a person that spent a lot. Okay. So Fair to frugal. Yeah. Frugal. Frugal yes. dad. Frugal is a much better word. So mm -hmm. to make it feel like we got more. Value oriented. Yes. We uh, we got one gift at a time so we could watch each other open it and it made it instead of like a. Made it last longer. Yeah, yeah. It, it yes. just drew out the whole process. So the whole time I'm waiting, I'm like, oh my gosh. My, like, watch my brother get socks. I was like, cool, I don't need socks. And then I'm. And sister got like a doll or something who cares and then, <laughs> and, then finally, and then finally it gets to the box and i'm like okay okay let's, right and he's like all right go for it and i just fucking start ripping this box apart and then i open it up and there's just a bunch of blankets <laughs> and i was like well, what the hell is this and he's like no you got to dig under the blankets it's like oh okay so i start moving the blankets and then i was like how many damn blankets are in this box? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what is, what's actually at the bottom of the box? He's like, like, is there only blankets? He's like, you gotta keep going. I was like, all, all right, here we go. So I keep going, and then finally at the bottom, this is a freaking brand new Game Boy Advance with like three games right next to it. Ooh, and it's nice. like, <gasps> the GBA. Oh, man. It was like right when it came out. Dude. Like, I wasn't expecting that at all, because, you know, it was it hadn't been on sale yet, <laughs> and that was like the only way we got stuff with, uh, with my frugal father, which again, get again as a parent, yes, that's the way you do it. So frugalfather.com, check it out. Yeah, and uh, but dude, that blew my damn mind. Yeah, like I was so stoked. I didn't need anything else. See, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard. I didn't have a lot. The more we think about it, or the more I think about it specifically, 
I didn't have a lot of uh, surprises. I was like the older brother. Mm. So I always had to like help my mom pick out the gifts. And oh, so like on I bigger see. gifts like that, they were shared. Right, right. So it was like on a console, we, we shared the console. So like she would kind of... Like I, I was the liaison, you know yeah. what I mean? I was like selling video games to my mom when I was a kid. I was like, listen, mom, you can get a PlayStation. I can get a 64. This one's more child oriented. We got all these nine over there. <laughs> this one's got cartridges. This one's CD. This one get like, jacked up by Ben so much. Get, yeah, Ben's gonna fuck all these ones up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I I guess there was never like you know I remember the, the year I got my my NES. I was still I was still really young. I was like five years old. So it's like I remember getting an NES. I remember being psyched, but it's like I don't know like that. I feel like N64 kid, that kid on video, the yes. short, I never had that moment. Like, I I always kind of knew what was coming. Right. That's a bummer. Yeah. I, think I, I have a couple of those moments. Christmas is, Christmas is dead. It's always been dead. <laughs> <laughs> no. no I, I, got, I got two of them for a long time. Christmas was awesome. <laughs> you got two Christmases? Oh, yeah. Because okay. my parents hated each other, so they got a divorce. Nice. Which uh -huh, every, suckers. Right? Everybody looked at it like, oh, poor child. I was like, dude, fuck you. I got two birthdays and two like, Christmases. I got two competing parents for my love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Just gotta manipulate that situation as much oh, as possible. Man, I man. think we've talked about this. We have a little bit, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, man. But um, you know, I I always liked watching my brothers open their their stuff more. I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I was the one that was like helping oh, pick it out. That makes sense. So it was like for me, I was like, oh, you know, you're always anxious, like, is you like this thing? And then they would open it, be psyched, and I was like, yes. You know what I mean? So that was kind of more the enjoyable part for me. Right. Um, and then watching them break all their stuff. <laughs> Subsequently, just, just destroy everything. Just be like, cool, that was nice while it lasted for five minutes. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. But I feel like breaking a toy that you got on Christmas, on Christmas, is like a, it has to happen. Oh, man. You have to have a toy on Christmas that you're like, oh, this is my toy. I got it for Smash. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's just like, oh. Every Christmas, something <laughs> would get broken. Now this looks delicious. I was say, well, I definitely had that happen with a, a Beast Wars Transformer. Ooh, see? Yep. He really got burned. I triggered him. Yep. He's just like... <laughs> no. no, it was a cool like, scorpion one, and of course I didn't know how to exactly put it back, so I unfolded it, and I was like, yeah, this is cool. Let's put it... It's not work. <laughs> Like, that was nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I had enough. It's always funny because after you break something when you're a kid, you're like, even if it's yours, like, you want to, like, go be like, oh, mom. But then you're like, fuck, you're going to be so mad that I already smashed this <laughs> right? thing. Like, how am I such an idiot? <laughs> like, yeah. Yep. Story of my life. Yep. Good stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, I'm stoked about Christmas. I am. You know? Juliet, you know, she's she's four. She's super psyched about it. Right. She started, you know, getting into video games. So I'm going to get her, like, a little video game for Christmas to open. Just something, I don't know, some little goofy or something. Like, right. maybe, maybe like, a PS4 or, like, Lego game or something. Because she's been playing Little Big Planet with me. And she can play it. She can actually play it. It's awesome. That is so, awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, I, I mean, shit, Raph's been smashing on Metal Slug for... Dude, the moment <laughs> I got that arcade up and running, he became, like, a legit gamer. Like, before it was always, like, that small kid that's like, oh, yeah, you push the stick forward. Yeah. And now you put him in front of something, he's like, hold on. Okay, I see what's happening. And you're like, son of a bitch, you're three. <laughs> like, I mean, like, calm down a little bit. I mean, this was meant to last. You put him in front of it. Dude. <laughs> I know. He's going to use it. Like, yeah, but, I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, it is cool to watch them, like, learn how to play games, like, her hands are so small that she has to like use the joystick like <laughs> this, but she can move and jump at the same time. But like Little Big Planet has a thing where you have to like jump, move, and grab. Oh and she yeah, can, she can like do that, and it's like right trigger. I'm like, oh, and she. So I was like, oh, that's Damn. let's get some coordination down. That is good stuff, and yeah, being a parent just made me actually love Christmas. That makes sense. Like, I, I'm, I'm, st I'm still kind of a Scrooge, to be honest. I, I was going to say, I was definitely a Scrooge for a long time. But, uh, yeah, the moment I got it, like, the moment Raph cared about opening things, is just like, a, I was like, sweet, Christmas is awesome. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, my brother told me today. He's like, you're, you're a bummer. He's like, you've <laughs> always been a Scrooge, and I'm like, man, nah, shut up. <laughs> I de- yeah, I definitely was for a long time. I think from like the beginning of high school until like three years ago. I can ham it up. I can pretend. I'd be like, oh my god, jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> Love them bells. The bells oh. jingling. Just walk up to people, just start kissing them. Yep. It's a mistletoe. Oh my right? god. Right? Just, just mistletoe. Just mistletoe. Not this year. Just kiss it. <laughs> Dude, I can. <laughs> Give me some mistletoe right now. But I won't kiss. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Especially with that Joe Biden hack I got going on. <clears throat> He's like the country. Uh, we're just gonna. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> I, I'm not like rag. I, I'm not ragging on him. It's just co- you know. I felt I, I felt his pain in that moment. <laughs> I was like, damn, this fool's trying to like be all serious and he can't like. <laughs> damn. It. Anyhow, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've I've even bought like some like extra movies and stuff. I went and found. Uh, Damn it. Santa Claus versus the Martians, I mm-hmm. think is what it's called. Yeah. And it's a movie uh, that MST3K did, uh, like, an episode of. Sure. So So you're just going to watch that without without the Mystery Science Theater Oh, part? no. I got the Mystery Science Theater version of it. Oh, okay. That makes so, sense. I uh, thought you just bought the movie without the commentary. I'm like, dude, that's not cool. If I could find that, I totally would. <laughs> but no. It's on some, like, fucking gigantic DVD collection that's like 400,000 public domain DVDs. Watch Christmas movies that have been overlooked. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. But I, I bought that and waiting for my brother and my dad to get over here. and Man. I just oh does your dad watch Mystery Science Theater yeah my dad's the one that got us like started oh, on it okay. so me my dad and my brother watched it all the time nice like you know we had like little uh, like sleepovers in the living room like in front of the TV because of course it was like 11 to 12 when it was on right so yeah we just just watch some Mystery Science Theater yeah. that's fantastic bro. We, that's... we love terrible movies hey there's, <laughs> hey there's there's nothing like criticizing somebody else's work you know when they try to do something and then just tearing it apart. Oh, oh yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, welcome to the internet. <laughs> right. Welcome to the internet, CG, CD Projekt Red. You tried your best, but they're going to destroy you, mm-hmm. just like they did Britney Spears. Yeah. That was, uh, that whole thing is what... Leave Britney alone. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. No, that was when I decided I would look good bald. Thanks, Britney. Oh, yeah, no, Britney did that for a lot of men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of men are like, if she's brave enough to do it, I'm brave enough to do it. Although, that doesn't... I don't know why they're all Sam Elliott, but... <laughs> <laughs> that does bum me. That's a random complaint I have now, is like, just fucking everyone now, bald with a beard. It's, I mean... It's like, you son of a bitch. Wel- I... Welcome to the age group you associate with, my friend. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's what we it, call a, uh, a circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a bummer, because, you know... My dad rocked that look when he had cancer when I was a kid. So I, I associated the look with a, wow. like, kind of a more powerful man that was like, was like shit. He he took it, lost his, like, head hair, and he's like, you know what? But I got a wicked awesome beard. I don't need fucking hair. Like, in the 90s when everyone was like, no, you have to have hair. And he's like, well, nope. I don't think it's bad to... I, I don't think I don't think the bald head with the beard is a bad look. I mean, oh no, I lo- I like <laughs> the look. That's why I wanted it for so long. And then I finally was like, I have an awesome beard. Not in the military anymore. F my hair. I hate it anyway. Rocking the beard. And then like a year later, everyone, fucking everyone. Like, look, I'm gonna tell you, there's a few level seven employees that are beard bald boys. Yeah. There's there's at least well there's you well, I won't name people I'm gonna I name mean, names there's a couple there's a couple it's a it's a look it's right. a look at level seven it's yeah I, I can't mean, grow a beard I can't get the BTM the beard to mustache mm-mm. I can't get the connection it's a hard thing to do I don't know if you I don't yours, yeah I don't think yours connects actually but I can't I can't get any of the rest of it either I I say it's just this piece but it's actually the entire thing like, I can only <laughs> get this little just this little right there. Why are we talking about this? I have no clue. We should probably <laughs> stop talking. We've covered the things we wanted to cover. <laughs> now we're talking about fucking hairdos. Whatever, dude. It's a fucking podcast. I don't know. Yeah. It's whatever. Freeform, baby. Freeform. Yep. Just swinging it. Indeed. Swing. Um, um, we should probably talk about the fact that there might not be stuff next week. There might not be stuff next week. I mean, 
Ah, uh, yes. I think maybe we should skip the news, but maybe just do a podcast since that's easy. That pro- yeah, probably. That sounds good. We could do that. No commitment, but we're gonna try. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, shit. That was a good good combo. Thanks for uh, not watching all of this. And if you did, I love you very much. You're the strongest person I've ever met. Indeed. <laughs> all right. Okay. Man, we still need to sign off. Yeah. Uh, time to die. Oh, shit, I don't have one yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> Microphone's dead now. And I didn't restart the audio on this for that second half. Oh, that's fine, as long as we have the camera one.